Now, I, I have a, a kind of a request for you. We have uh, the Tech Show keynoter uh, here who's about to speak. Uh, he is, uh, he promised he's not going to talk about anything here that he's going to talk about tomorrow. So you still have to come to his presentation tomorrow. Uh, he's also going to talk about bowling with his four and a half year old. So, all right. There you go. Thank you. I feel like I'm about to do karaoke. How many people here play the Wii? Anybody? Awesome. So I'm going to talk today about what I learned by playing the Wii with my four and a half year old daughter. And the first half lesson is collaborate, play together. The future of legal marketing is going to be in how we play together, how we do decide what kind of ideas we're going to take from others and collaborate to bring them in together. You have to be an active participant. Anybody play the Wii where they just sort of sit on the couch? You do one of these? Right? But my daughter, she's like, whoa, she goes crazy with this thing. And she's always better than I am. She's always more engaged. We have to figure out how to crowdsource some of these marketing ideas so that we're bringing in the ideas into the fold. So we're active participants. Sometimes you break something. Every once in a while, someone throws that control and they miss. We've hit the ceiling so many times. And so what you have to try to figure out is, what are the risks that you're willing to take? What is the, what is the point at which you're going to stop your marketing? And what is the point at which you're going to say, you know what, I'm going to take this extra risk? Which is why you need to actually decide to calculate risk. The Wii Remote Control has a little strap on it. I don't know if anybody ever uses that thing. We don't. And so you need to calculate the risks that you're going to take in your marketing. What tools are you going to use? How are you going to use them? And what, and what, what is your strategy going to be in using those tools? If you can calculate the risk, you can be much more effective in your marketing. Vary the game. Right? We're, we're marketing in the same way we would do a, a yellow page ad or we would do some sort of silly thing. But vary the game. Here we used to play 10 pin bowling. Now we do this crazy thing. You can hit 91 pins. You ever do that? Huh? And so figure out a way to vary the game. Figure out a way to engage in a way that's a little bit different, that's a little bit off the beaten path. Consider new ideas. When you're thinking about what kind of marketing you're going to do, think about, is this going to work? And then forget it. And then realize that you have to fight the fact, well, is it going to work? I don't really know. It's a new idea. I have to try it just to see if it's something that's going to be able to uh, executable by, by me or by my team. Make adjustments. Each time you're engaged in this, figure out how you can adjust. What we typically do is we decide on a strategy, and then what do we do? We sort of execute on that strategy, whether it works or not. So figure out how you can make adjustments along the way. Tweak the kind of marketing that you're planning to do, and figure out whether what you're trying to do is consistent with your, with your model. Commit to playing. Right? Sometimes I'll be there, and she'll be going crazy with this thing. Throwing the thing, she'll be, she'll be thinking she's going to get a 300. And I won't really commit. You know, I'll just sit there and I'll just play and I won't really get engaged. But if you're fully engaged, if you fully commit, the level of success will far exceed your expectations, particularly if you can overcome the risks that are calculated. This is her. Listen to the next generation. So she's four and a half. I mentioned, this is how I bowl. Right? This is how she bowls. Whoa! the whole thing around like a lunatic. Strike every time. Every single time she gets a strike and I'm amazed. And I'm always thinking, I've got to learn what that kid is doing. So we have to create intergenerational kind of marketing. Change your perspective. What's amazing is you could be this lady one day, then this guy, then this kid. Your audience is different. Your audience is so diverse now. You're marketing to a whole different class of people. So figure out how you can change your perspective. What are the things that you can do to be this person and that person? Make mistakes. I always talk about this. The flaws in marketing are what makes it so rich. Figure out, you know, I'm going to make a mistake. And that's going to be okay. We do that in marketing. Not unlike, you know, you're filing something needs to be perfect. But in marketing, you can experiment. You can make a little bit of a mistake, as long as you comport with the ethical rules. Avoid distractions. Right? I'll be there. What will you do? Everyone does this. They're playing with their kids. What do you do? She's playing, and I'm checking my iPhone. I'm trying to figure out who I should call. And every single time I think, don't she beat me again, right? So figure out how you can avoid distractions. I love this idea, I love Larry's idea of just sort of buckling down, 25 minutes, doing your thing. Test it. Test your marketing principles. Figure out, I talk about a principle called creating a personal advisory board in my book that's proven to work. Testing it with people that you trust in a way that will allow you to enhance the effectiveness of the things that you're doing. So figure out ways to test the kind of marketing that you're doing. Have fun. I love to have fun when I'm doing my work. We have, we have such a great time when we play this game. And I always think, 
wow, I play so much better when I'm having a better time. And so when your team is engaged, when you're enjoying, we were just talking uh, last night about teams that are engaged, that are having a good time with the things they're doing. They're always more effective, they're always more engaged, and they're always willing to work longer. Except balance the fun, but it can't all be fun. You have to figure out how you're going to strategize in terms of the things that you're marketing. So find ways to balance some of the fun with some of the things that you're obligated to finish in terms of a project management, which is a critical component of the future of legal marketing. You know what's funny? We went bowling in a real bowling alley once. She could not believe how heavy the ball was. She could not believe that she didn't get a strike every time. Set realistic expectations. It may be that you're setting some sort of marketing campaign and you're testing it and it seems to be working, but your expectations are completely inconsistent with what the ultimate result is going to be. So set something that's realistic. She also has a tendency to reset. Right? She'll, she'll play and she won't be doing very well. She'll just reset it. The future of legal marketing is not going to allow us to consistently reset what we're doing. We're going to commit too much money. The, the focus is going to be much more on value. And so you're not going to have a chance to be resetting every time you come up with a marketing strategy. You're going to have to execute, which is why you need to monitor your progress. You need to figure out, is what I'm doing, is this investment the right thing to be doing at this moment? Figure out ways that you can monitor along the way such that you can track. And of course, social media tools allow you very easily to track the kind of marketing that you're, you're generally able to do. What you also need to do is set limits. Set li we, of course, only play Wii on Saturday. I don't know if anybody else has this rule. Only between breakfast and lunch. I don't want to become crazy uh, Wii addicts. And so you have to figure out what kind of limits you're going to set on your market, what kind of budget you're going to set, what kind of issues you're going to focus on, who's your audience going to be, how is it that you're going to be able to set these limits, and also review your performance. Every single time she's like, I got a high score. And I'm always thinking, all right, you did get a high score. Figure out ways to review the performance that you just executed on. And then decide what were the best elements of that. And then repeat those. And then decide where you faltered. And then alter it so that it's more effective. Privilege. Thank you.